exceed that rate. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. And just a minutes ago, about a half an hour ago, NBC projected former President Trump will be going back to the White House. We'll have more on that in a bit. Today's forecast, though. Oh, uh, actually, not too bad of a start. Uh, there's no rain just yet. In fact, it's rather mild. Let's take a look at those current conditions out there right now. First off, a live look at downtown Utica. A few clouds in the sky. A nice shot of that morning sun out in the distance, or I should say morning twilight. And temperatures very warm in the 60s right now. And that's a, a pretty warm start to the day, at least based on uh, November standards. However, as you take a look at the Yurtful Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, we are not tracking an entirely dry afternoon and evening like yesterday. In fact, from the west, here comes a change in the weather. A cold front is slowly approaching. Now, with that cold front arriving today, you might assume, well, the weather's going to cool down quickly. However, the actual cool weather doesn't really arrive until roughly tomorrow. And so today, we'll see mild conditions in the 60s with scattered showers, the heaviest of which being in the mid to late morning, and then just a few spotty uh, lingering showers heading into our area by this evening. We'll talk about how cool we get following today and those rain chances moving forward straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. After Monk Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Welcome back to Sunrise. The time now is 6.13 as you get set to head out the door this morning on the Munson Commute Cast. Here's a look how things shape up. First off, Old Forge losing signal in the camera right there. But in downtown Utica right now, uh, where you can see the uh, sunrise out in the distance, temperature at 64 mile degrees. So you don't really need a jacket heading out the door today. Uh, Cooperstown, same sort, 61 and uh, mainly dry. And finally, our favorite sunrise camera, Oneonta, sitting at 61 degrees with the morning twilight out in the distance. Uh, the traffic tracker early this morning, no incidents to report of. And as we head throughout the day today, rain showers will gradually develop by the mid to late morning. And then following that, a few scattered showers throughout our area as we head into this afternoon uh, and this evening with temperatures still remaining uh, seasonably warm. Matter of fact, uh, well above average in the mid 60s. Uh, we actually will start to see that cool down arrive as we look ahead to tomorrow. We'll talk about that forecast in detail straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. The time right now is 614. There's spoil your day. Tune in for the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast brought to you by Munson. Visit Munson today and ignite curiosity and creativity. Visiting Munson and the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast, both free and both Utica's very own. Remember, all roads lead to Munson. Order during store hours for pickup within an hour with Bremers to go. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. In fact, it's a pretty warm Wednesday to start. Temperatures already sitting in the 60s are well warmer than our normal high for the day we usually see this time of year. Downtown Utica right now, we're seeing a few clouds begin to increase from the western sky as a slow-moving cold front will approach as we approach this evening. Officially mostly cloudy at Rome, temperature sitting at 61 and that dew point at 55. So we are tracking uh, increased humidity in the air right now. And that means as we head into, say, 9, 10 o'clock this morning, most of us will be seeing numerous to widespread rain showers. Uh, the radar right now is looking mainly dry here, but again, out to the west, those showers are gradually starting to move in. And as I mentioned uh, just a few seconds ago regarding that rainfall chance, most of that rain is expected to fall between the mid to late morning hours. Still some patchy light rain possible this evening from lake effect, but that's really about it. But the main thing, though, those temperatures very warm, sitting in the upper 60s throughout the day today. Rain chances still remain somewhat spotty heading into this evening and eventually early tonight. 
We dry out for the most part tomorrow. Can't rule out an isolated lake effect shower. Again, we're still seeing that northwest wind, so we can't rule that out uh, just yet. But what we can tell you it's going to be a breezy next few days. Breezy today, breezy tomorrow, a windy Friday before winds eventually calm as we approach Saturday. And so, larger scale picture here's that rain. It's ahead of that cold front that arrives. Uh, I would say roughly during the late evening and overnight hours tonight. And then just a lingering trough trailing that, producing again a few fiery, uh, firing up a few uh, spotty lake effect showers. But notice here we'll see a gradual cool down, but not a sudden cool down is what's be taking place up in the uh, no northern New England por uh, portion of uh, the U.S., closer to Maine. And so in our skycast this morning, cloudy, at least. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies turned to rain showers, then eventually a few scattered showers mixed in with clouds, and maybe if you're lucky, a peak of sunshine. Then looking mainly dry tonight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy start to the day, patchy drizzle here and there, and then by the evening we should see some clearing as temperatures will fall from the from the 50s down into the 40s and 30s by Friday morning. And so your seven-day forecast following today, well. Tomorrow and Friday, 50s, the highs. Same thing heading into the weekend. It's going to be a cool one. Rain chances increase as we approach Sunday night and into Veterans Day. But so far, it looks rather mild with highs on Veterans Day in the low 60s. Eric, or Gary? <laughs> Eric, thank you. The plays of August Wilson. With Gary Libertor and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this half hour. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. And when you head out this morning, it feels like uh, late spring. It's pretty warm out there. Yes, don't even need a jacket early today, uh, but. It's going to be a bit rainy as we head in the next few hours, so maybe that rain jacket might be necessary. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at those current conditions out there right now. Downtown Utica, uh, a few more clouds are slowly starting to arrive from the west. Now, it's still not raining just yet, but if you notice out near, for example, Buffalo, moderate to heavy rainfall taking place at this point. A mild start to the day, 61 degrees. Uh, in parts of central New York, 60s in both the Mohawk Valley, North Country, and including the Southern Valleys. The radar, as you can see here, rain is on our doorstep, particularly out near Boonville and Rome, uh, just to the northwestern part of United County near Camden. Zooming out, here comes the rain, and most of this actually uh, arrives as we head into the mid morning, roughly 9, 10 a.m. And so today, Although it's dry start, expect widespread rain in the mid-morning, followed by a few spotty showers as we head to this afternoon and this evening. No major cool down. In fact, uh, we remain relatively mild throughout the entire day today. Well, we'll see a gradual cool down as we head into tomorrow. We'll talk about that, plus those rain chances moving forward straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. NBC News has projected... It's brought to you by Holland Farms Bakery in Delhi. Welcome back to Sunrise on this Wednesday morning. Today we are taking a look at our photo of the day. Uh, and this one, it takes us to a town I don't think we've covered yet here on Sunrise, Augusta. And this one is pretty notable. So uh, as you can see here, slightly frosty ground. This was taken a few days ago at the Zombeck Farm. We're celebrating 100 years. Congratulations uh, to your farm there. And on top of that, uh, he said that uh, this is the field of soybean harvesting. So uh, one of the uh, amazing things here in central New York, of course, uh, is the fact that we have farms like these around the area. And of course, a big thank you to all the farmers who watch us every morning. Uh, of course, we could not have any of the food and things we do have uh, and we do take for granted uh, without your hard work. Now this morning, Temperatures actually really mild in the 60s. 66 in Whitesboro, 64 Little Falls, even in the upper 50s heading up to Lake Pleasant. And we'll still see these mild conditions linger throughout the day, even with these rain showers arriving uh, in, say, the next uh, three to four hours. In the wake of those showers, they'll turn a bit more scattered in nature, but we'll actually be seeing a drying trend heading into the weekend. We'll talk about that in a bit more detail straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. If you weren't with us in our first half hour, we are now reaching New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. 
Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Uh, this morning, we actually were treated to a pretty colorful sunrise. You saw it right before the break, uh, taking a live look at downtown Utica. Still a little uh, bright out in the distance, but we are enjoying these earlier sunrises thanks to daylight saving time. But uh, of course, the sunset's getting earlier in the evening as well. Sitting at 61 officially at Griffiths and Rome under mostly cloudy skies. And as we take a look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, although we're dry right now, rain is on our doorstep. Rain showers taking place uh, just to the west of Syracuse near Oswego over uh, Lake Ontario. And uh, a lot of the heavier of rain showers taking place as you head out to western New York. Matter of fact, I'm going to zoom out right here. We can actually see these rain showers slowly moving in from the west. And I think the exact arrival time of this for widespread rain here in our area looks to be closer to, let's say, 9, 10 a.m. Matter of fact, right here, precipitation chances right around that time is our best chance for rain. Now, it's not the only chance for rain today. A few spotty lake effect showers could still linger throughout the evening with that northwest wind. So we can't rule that out just yet regarding those rainfall chances. But it's going to remain mild for most of the day today. So no winter jacket needed. Maybe have that rain jacket handy as well. And so here are those rain chances peaking in the mid-morning. Still a few rounds here and there possible. But as we head into Thursday, especially Thursday evening, will dry out once more as lake effect winds uh, are not favorable enough for producing rain showers. In fact, we'll see some more clearing and even sunshine heading into Thursday evening. Regarding wind speeds, it's still going to be a breezy day today. Same thing for Thursday. As we head into Friday, it's going to be a bit more windy, and then those winds do calm as we head into Saturday. And so larger scale picture, what's going on in the atmosphere? Here's that warm surge uh, that caused those record high temperatures yesterday. However, here comes that cold front putting an end to that. However, the actual front itself isn't going to be pushing through until roughly tomorrow morning, which means that uh, we're still remaining mild today. And then we can see this gradual slight cool down as we approach Thursday and Friday. And so on our skycast, here we are, dry start early today. Here comes that rain. And then by the afternoon, a few spotty showers mixed in with mostly cloudy skies. If we're lucky, a peak of sunshine. Then mostly cloudy tonight, areas of patchy drizzle early tomorrow. And then by tomorrow evening, here comes uh, the clearing as we head into uh, the uh, 5 p.m. hour and onwards. And so your seven-day forecast, we're going to remain relatively right around average for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday rain chances increase once more and then slightly warming up as we approach Veterans Day. Eric, Eric thanks. Well, voters in a small town in dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Wednesday morning, Central New York. As we uh, started out the day today in the 60s with dry conditions, rain showers are sweeping through our area as we speak. Let's take a the radar and satellite right now. Earlier today, the rain was on our doorstep, and now it is slowly approaching our region from the west. And uh, this will be widespread rain, so most of our region, if not all of our, our region, will be seeing some showers. Now, behind this system, behind this uh, uh, line of showers, we could still see some lake effect patchy rain from a northwesterly wind. So although the most notable the rain is over and done with by the morning, we still have those rain chances heading into the afternoon. But what will be consistent are these temperatures, not too cool. Matter of fact, relatively mild. 67 the high today, looking about a few degrees above average for this time of year. Rainfall chances, again, highest chance in the mid-morning today. Following that, a few areas of patchy drizzle and light rain heading into this evening and tonight. That will, of course, linger into the start of Thursday. Thursday, mostly cloudy, areas of patchy drizzle. And then we'll see the sun finally peak its way out by tomorrow evening. Regarding wind speed, it's going to be a breezy one today. Same thing for tomorrow. As we head into Friday, however, winds will pick up, definitely on the windy side, followed by a calm Saturday. And, of course, Friday and Saturday being uh, those driest of the uh, next four days. And so let's take a look at the bigger picture right now. That 
pool of warm air is what caused the record high temperatures yesterday. But as we head into today, here comes that change, a cold front arriving from the west. But notice how far behind that cold front is from the actual rainfall itself. These showers are ahead of the cold front. So we'll see the rain today. And by this afternoon, 3 p.m., it's still relatively mild. That cold front is still out to the west. It doesn't actually move through our area until tomorrow. So we'll still be seeing somewhat mild, if not warm conditions throughout the day today. Following that into Thursday and Friday, notice here we've got a cold pool over our area, but the actual coldest part of it is still to our north and east. And so taking a look at our skycast today, started out dry, then here can, uh, comes those rain showers, followed by, I would say, a few spotty rain showers mixed in with mostly cloudy skies. So it uh, depends on your location whether you'll be seeing rain or dry weather. On top of that, too, even some locations could see a peak of sunshine as that cloud cover begins to break down temporarily. But we'll still see mostly cloudy skies as we head into Thursday, at least the start of Thursday, with temperatures peaking in the 50s. Then we will finally see those skies gradually clear out as we head into Thursday evening. And so your seven day forecast following today, a slight cool down heading into Friday and the start of the weekend. 52 the high Saturday with dry weather sunshine heading into Sunday. We'll be warming up slightly into the mid 50s, eventually low 60s by Veterans Day with increasing chances for rainfall. most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Wednesday morning, Central New York. As we uh, started out the day today in the 60s with dry conditions, rain showers are sweeping through our area as we speak. Let's take a the radar and satellite right now. Earlier today, the rain was on our doorstep, and now it is slowly approaching our region from the west. And uh, this will be widespread rain, so most of our region, if not all of our, our region, will be seeing some showers. Now, behind this system, behind this uh, uh, line of showers, we could still see some lake effect patchy rain from a northwesterly wind. So, although the most notable rain is over and done with by the morning, we still have those rain chances heading into the afternoon. But what will be consistent are these temperatures, not too. Cool. Matter of fact, relatively mild. 67 the high today, looking about a few degrees above average for this time of year. Rainfall chances, again, highest chance in the mid morning today. Following that, a few areas of patchy drizzle and late rain heading into this evening and tonight. That'll, of course, linger into the start of Thursday. Thursday, mostly cloudy areas of patchy drizzle, and then we'll see the sun. Finally, peak its way out by tomorrow evening. Regarding wind speed, it's going to be a breezy one today. Same thing for tomorrow. As we head into Friday, however, winds will pick up, definitely on the windy side, followed by a calm Saturday. And of course, Friday and Saturday being uh, those driest of the uh, next four days. And so let's take a look at the bigger picture right now. That 
pool of warm air is what caused the record high temperatures yesterday. But as we head into today, here comes that change, a cold front arriving from the west. But notice how far behind that cold front is from the actual rainfall itself. These showers are ahead of the cold front. So we'll see the rain today. And by this afternoon at 3 p.m., it's still relatively mild. That cold front is still out to the west. It doesn't actually move through our area until tomorrow. So we'll still be seeing somewhat mild, if not warm, conditions throughout the day today. Following that into Thursday and Friday, notice here we've got a cold pool over our area, but the actual coldest part of it is still to our north and east. And so taking a look at our skycast today, started out dry, then here came, oh, comes those rain showers, followed by, I would say, a few spotty rain showers mixed in with mostly cloudy skies. So it uh, depends on your location whether you'll be seeing rain or dry weather. On top of that, too, even some locations could see a peak of sunshine as that cloud cover begins to break down temporarily. But we'll still see mostly cloudy skies as we head into Thursday, at least the start of Thursday, with temperatures peaking in the 50s. Then we will finally see those skies gradually clear out as we head into Thursday evening. And so your seven day forecast following today, a slight cool down heading into Friday and the start of the weekend. 52 the high Saturday with dry weather sunshine heading into Sunday. We'll be warming up slightly into the mid 50s, eventually low 60s by Veterans Day with increasing chances for rainfall. This is Jerry New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Wednesday morning, Central New York. As we uh, started out the day today in the 60s with dry conditions, rain showers are sweeping through our area as we speak. Let's take a the radar and satellite right now. Earlier today, the rain was on our doorstep, and now it is slowly approaching our region from the west. And uh, this will be widespread rain, so most of our region, if not all of our, our region, will be seeing some showers. Now, behind this system, behind this uh, uh, line of showers, we could still see some lake effect patchy rain from a northwesterly wind. So, although the most notable rain is over and done with by the morning, we still have those rain chances heading into the afternoon. But what will be consistent are these temperatures, not too. Cool. Matter of fact, relatively mild. 67 the high today, looking about a few degrees above average for this time of year. Rainfall chances, again, highest chance in the mid morning today. Following that, a few areas of patchy drizzle and light rain heading into this evening and tonight. That'll, of course, linger into the start of Thursday. Thursday, mostly cloudy areas of patchy drizzle, and then we'll see the sun. Finally, peak its way out by tomorrow evening. Regarding wind speed, it's going to be a breezy one today. Same thing for tomorrow. As we head into Friday, however, winds will pick up, definitely on the windy side, followed by a calm Saturday. And of course, Friday and Saturday being uh, those driest of the uh, next four days. 
And so let's take a look at the bigger picture right now. That pool of warm air is what caused the record high temperatures yesterday. But as we head into today, here comes that change, a cold front arriving from the west. But notice how far behind that cold front is from the actual rainfall itself. These showers are ahead of the cold front. So we'll see the rain today. And by this afternoon, 3 p.m., it's still relatively mild. That cold front is still out to the west. It doesn't actually move through our area until tomorrow. So we'll still be seeing somewhat mild, if not warm conditions throughout the day today. Following that into Thursday and Friday, notice here we've got a cold pool over our area, but the actual coldest part of it is still to our north and east. And so taking a look at our skycast today, started out dry, then here came, uh, comes those rain showers, followed by, you know, I would say a few spotty rain showers mixed in with mostly cloudy skies. So it uh, depends on your location whether you'll be seeing rain or dry weather. On top of that, too, even some locations could see a peak of sunshine as that cloud cover begins to break down temporarily. But we'll still see mostly cloudy skies as we head into Thursday, at least the start of Thursday, with temperatures peaking in the 50s. Then we will finally see those skies gradually clear out as we head into Thursday evening. And so your seven-day forecast following today, a slight cool down heading into Friday and the start of the weekend. 52 the high Saturday with dry weather sunshine. Heading into Sunday, we'll be warming up slightly into the mid-50s, eventually low 60s by Veterans Day with increasing chances for rainfall. Attention, Mar-a-Lago residents down in Florida. Results in just a minute. But first, a quick check of the forecast and uh, some showers still moving through at this hour. Yeah, we're talking talk about our rainy Wednesday, or at least early afternoon. It was a rainy morning. And a matter of fact, look at the radar right now. You can see those showers continuing through parts of our region, although the most notable of those showers have since exited out towards the capital region near Albany. And uh, zooming out a little bit, we can see the path of this frontal boundary. Notice these showers are, at least most of the heavier showers, are ahead of the boundary uh, out near, uh, say, most of uh, Otsego County, heading down towards Broome County. And a little line as you head out to Lake Ontario, that is that front moving through the region. Now, right now, it's a little damp out there. Temperatures sitting uh, in the 60s, so we're still looking at a pleasant afternoon at least temperature wise, but regarding rainfall, well, a different story. We do dry out this evening and tonight, barring a few areas of isolated sprinkles, but we are tracking some drier days ahead, but some cooler days ahead. We'll talk about how cool we're talking in that full forecast. Gary? Eric, thanks. And before we get to our local election results, from Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. mid-60s for most of the day today. On top of that, 
Uh, we will be seeing a few chances for some spotty rain showers, but most of that steady, consistent rain has already fallen. Uh, temperature, of course, officially sitting at 67 degrees right now at Utica, 66 one degree cooler at Griffiths and Rome with cloudy skies. Radar and satellite showing, of course, that that frontal boundary is slowly approaching. There is one just right here outside of Buffalo pushing eastward into our local area. In fact, zooming in the radar, here are those rain showers. Again, the steadiest out near, say, closer to Albany, in between St. Johnsville, Schenectady area. Well, there's a passing shower south of Utica near New Hartford in uh, parts of, uh, I would say, near Richfield Springs, Cooperstown area. Uh, but out here is where that front is slowly approaching. But we're still remaining uh, in the 60s for the next several hours, low 60s by this evening, and then eventually into the 50s by tonight. So we're not cooling down all too much, although it's going to be a cooler night than last night. Rainfall chances still non-zero heading throughout the early morning tomorrow as uh, we'll still be dealing with a northwesterly wind. Of course, with that wind direction, lake effect drizzle is still possible, even though it's not going to be widespread. What is certain, though, is going to be breezy to, uh, for the rest of the day today through tomorrow and windy conditions expected on Friday before uh, winds eventually calm as we approach Saturday. So that cold front will sweep through today, or at least late tonight and early tomorrow. Following that, cooler temperatures gradually move in, but overall a uh, dry pattern is expected for the second half of the work week, or at least later on in the work week, closer to Friday and Saturday. And so in our skycast this afternoon, here's the uh, look at how rain showers are shaping up. Not really widespread, a hit or miss shower here and there, maybe in a peak of sunshine mixing in with those clouds. By tonight, mostly cloudy skies, a few breaks in the overcast, but still patchy drizzle possible for the morning and even the early afternoon tomorrow. Then cloudy skies give way to peaks of sunshine, eventually completely sunny skies by tomorrow evening as that cloud cover breaks. And we'll see consistently quiet conditions through Friday and into Saturday for the start of the weekend. Now Sunday will warm up a little bit, high of 55. 60 the high as we head into Veterans Day, so a slight warm up is expected. No major cool down over the next few days, but potential frosty starts, especially Sunday morning. Gary? Eric, thanks. Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand held off a chat. Eric Gage joining us now, and locally, our weather still warm out there, but a little damp. Yeah, and I wanted to showcase a picture of Oneonta right now. In fact, a live view of Oneonta. I want to take that full screen right now so we can see that this is like a typical. November day. It's cloudy out. The trees have lost most of their leaves, but I think the outlier here is that temperature. It's 64 degrees out there right now. Not uh, too common in November do we see these temperatures as warm as today and even yesterday's. Now, as Gary mentioned, yes, we're talking about a few scattered showers on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. Uh, the most widespread of them continuing to shift eastward. That's where the uh, steadiest of the rain fell was early this morning over much of our area. Now we are seeing just a few lingering spotty showers, light in nature, as uh, those winds turn a bit more northwesterly heading into this evening and tonight. But zooming out, we can actually see that passage of that front uh, right here and notice how the winds trailing that will start to form a bit more from the northwest. Downtown Utica right now, same story. A little damp out there, but also still relatively warm. Temperatures in the upper 60s for now. A chance of a passing light shower here and there, so keep that umbrella handy just in case. Uh, by tonight, we will dry out mainly. Still potential for a spotty uh, shower. Uh, but then we've got drier days ahead, but also cooler days ahead. We'll talk about how cool we get straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. Florida's abortion ban. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Wednesday afternoon. After a mild and dry start early today, rain showers have rolled through and it's remained relatively damp over the past few hours. Downtown Utica right now, roads again a little damp, but those temperatures still remain pretty mild. In fact, I would say on the warm side, it's 66 degrees out right now. It's technically humid. 
Uh, dew points this high, not too common in November. And zooming out, we can see this frontal boundary extending all throughout New England, heading down to uh, near the Ohio. Uh, Kentucky border, and uh, this is bringing with it clouds and a few scattered showers. Zooming in, the most notable of the rain early today has since extended out to the capital region. For now, rain showers largely tapering off, but we still can't rule out a stray light drizzle or shower over the next few hours as that wind shifts more northwesterly and we start to get that lake effect type enhancement. Uh, producing those uh, spotty showers. This afternoon and this evening, temperatures still remain in the 60s, cooling down into the low 60s, eventually 50s overnight tonight. Uh, so it's going to be cooler than last night, but not by much. We're still looking at uh, somewhat above average conditions heading into early tomorrow morning. But we still remain uh, somewhat unsettled until tomorrow evening. That's when sunshine begins to break in, high pressure moves in, and uh, we'll be looking at uh, completely dry weather lingering into the start of the weekend. But as we approach tomorrow and Friday, wind speeds pick up, especially on Friday. Wind speeds between roughly, I would say, 15 and 20 miles per hour in the Mohawk Valley. So potential for some stronger wind gusts. Just a heads up regarding those wind speeds. And so bigger picture, here comes that cold front. It sweeps through early tomorrow morning, late tonight. And then we'll see a slight surge in cooler weather although we're on the fringe of it. Most of that Arctic blast, or I should say just cooler blast, extends only into parts of Maine. And so on our skycast, that widespread rain has since exited. Spotty light showers expected for this afternoon and this evening mixed in with clouds, and if we're lucky, a peak of sunshine. Then tonight, mostly cloudy, areas of patchy drizzle, and then temperatures in the 50s. By tomorrow evening, is when skies will eventually clear out. Temperatures fall into the 40s. It's a blustery one out there. And then we'll see potentially lake effect clouds and some isolated drizzle north, just north of the Mohawk Valley. Followed by a uh, dry Friday, but a windy one. Temperatures in the mid 50s for highs. 52 the high Saturday. And as we head into Sunday, 55 the high. Rain chances increasing in the evening as we turn our attention to Veterans Day on Monday, a high of 60, so a little warmer, but still looking relatively unsettled with a few spotty showers. But we're still continuing this trend of not seeing any major cool down mm -hmm. as uh, summer doesn't quite want to move away just yet. Yeah, I'm loving this warm weather. Yeah, I, I know one thing for sure. I asked uh, some local farmers on Facebook, and they said the same thing. This fall has been very beneficial oh, uh, for some crops. Good so. for them. Eric, thanks. Well, voters in a small town. Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Another warm day today, but not as nice as what we saw yesterday. Lots and lots of clouds uh, across the region. As we take a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar, there are a few sprinkles still falling from these clouds. They're very few and far between. A few of them being detected on the radar along I 88 in southeastern Otsego County. The weather is expected to stay generally dry as we head into tonight. Just a very small chance of a passing shower. Temperature wise, it's been relatively mild, especially for November standards. A temperature of 61 degrees. Uh, skies remain mostly cloudy tonight, although we will get some breaks in the overcast. We'll start out tomorrow with cloudy skies and it turns seasonably chilly. Breezy weather will stick around, and the weather looks to uh, dry out over the next couple of days with rain returning by late Sunday. Cloudy skies this evening, temperatures in the 50s. Uh, we're tracking uh, some cooler weather ahead. Look at the forecast coming out. Chris, back to you. All right, thank you, Bill. A roaring barn fire in Remsen had firefighters from multiple. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Another warm day today, although not quite as warm as yesterday and not anywhere near as sunny. Let's take a live look in downtown Utica, a temperature of 63 degrees. So it's pretty warm out there for November standards. We're expecting temperatures to slowly cool off as we head into tonight and some cooler weather is uh, ahead as we uh, look to the next couple of days. The live look at the Eric Hill Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Been seeing some very light showers throughout the course of today. More of a steadier rain earlier as the cold front rolled through, but 
Uh, now things look relatively quiet. We had a beautiful sunrise this morning. This was taken in Verona. We also had a really nice sunset that took place this afternoon in Taborg. Uh, kind of unusual to see those back to back, but that's the type of weather that we've been dealing with uh, with these that cold front rolling through this morning and now exiting later this, eve uh, this afternoon. The winds, well, they're going to pick up. Uh, we're looking at breezy conditions tomorrow, windy on Friday. As some colder weather works in, the winds become lighter as we head into the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures cooler out there today, but still, again, for November, pretty mild. Westernville, 63. 63 in Dodgeville, Little Falls, 65 across Southern Valleys. Cooperstown, 65. Oneonta, 64. And Unadilla with 68. Cold front continues to move to the east. Behind it, we have a dome of high pressure building in. A lot of lake effect clouds with this as it is dragging in some colder air that's interacting with the Great Lakes producing additional cloud cover. So it stays mostly cloudy tonight. And I can't rely on a very brief shower. Overnight lows fall to about 50 degrees. Tomorrow, cloudy skies early. I think we'll get some breaks of sunshine late in the day, but it's going to be pretty close. It does look dry. Temperatures climbing to the low 50s. Tomorrow night, we're looking at mostly clear skies. Friday starts out with a mix of sunshine and clouds. The clouds return as we head into the day as a cold front drops in from the north. Yes, another one. Uh, breezy conditions Friday with high temperatures in the 50s. We're continuing to uh, watch Hurricane Raphael. The track from the National Hurricane Center has changed since yesterday. This is likely to take more of a westerly trajectory. And notice the cone of uncertainty becomes much larger. There's a lot of uncertainty where this storm heads. But one thing is certain, it does look to stay in the Gulf as we head into the weekend. Tonight, cloudy, a brief shower, low of 50. Tomorrow, looking at cloudy skies, some late breaks of sunshine, 56 for the high. Storm Tracker 2, seven-day forecast. Windy on Friday, 55 degrees. Cooler Saturday, 49, mostly sunny. Sa Sunday starts out with sunshine, and then we'll end with clouds and showers. Showers on Monday, temperatures in the low 50s with the mix of sunshine and clouds on Tuesday and Wednesday. So that 70 degree weather, not coming back anytime soon. Oh. I mean, I know, it, it was November. nice while it lasted. And I think having, you know, that warmth this late in the year just make what's to come a little bit a little bit shorter. <laughs> a little yeah, yeah, well. yeah. And then there's the part of me that says, okay, let's enjoy this, but it's going to mean a harsher winter. But that's not necessarily not the necessary. Case. They don't equal. Yeah. They don't equal. Awesome. All right, Bill. Thank you. Operation Greenlight. Urologist Bill Curtis talking about the temperature trend. Yeah, we're seeing temperatures that are a lot more in line with what's typical this time of the year. The 70s, the 60s, that's way above average. And it looks like we're going to be back in the 50s here as we head into the next several days. The coolest day of the next seven. Saturday, temperature of 49 degrees. We have some wind to accompany some of these cooler temperatures. Live look at the Yorkville battery, Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. We've been seeing some on and off sprinkles here as a cold front moves through. Lots of cloud cover that's going to linger around as we head into tonight as well as most of the day tomorrow. If you're taking the dog out for a walk this evening, temperatures will slowly cool off into the low 60s to upper 50s. Tonight's featured dog, Georgie from Herkimer. Uh, if you want to be part of this, head to SkyCast, WKTV on Facebook. That's where you can go to submit uh, pictures of your dog. This is brought to you by Nye Automotive Group. We're tracking some cooler and windy weather ahead. A look at the forecast is coming up. Kristen, back to you. If you listen very closely, you can hear. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are tracking some mild weather that will be coming to an end. Temperatures in the 60s today. We were in the 70s yesterday, but in the wake of a cold front, things have changed. This is live looking downtown Utica. Uh, we've been seeing uh, some clouds and some sprinkles here throughout the day, uh, but right now things are looking relatively quiet. Can't rule out a sprinkle here as we head into tonight, but in general, the weather does uh, look to stay pretty dry. Now, I know it's hard to think about this because it's been so warm lately, but we are technically starting the snow season. What do I mean by that? By now, we've typically had our first snowfall 
Uh, in fact, by November 5th, we usually have about an inch as an average. Of course, this year it's been anything but. We haven't had any snow in the Mohawk Valley. I know the Adirondacks have had a couple of uh, snow showers in the month of October, which is pretty common for that place. But locally, we are running behind. I know it's very early, uh, but this warm weather is quite unusual. Beautiful sunrise taken earlier today. We did see a lot of color in the sky. As this cold front moves through, the winds are going to be around. In fact, the winds will be picking up as we head into Thursday and Friday. The winds become lighter as we head into the weekend. Skywatchers checking in. Uh, Whitesboro, 62 degrees. West Leiden, 61. Barneville, 59. Helen and Cassville, 62. Jeff and Mohawk, 64. Uh, Skenevis Gary with 67. Cold front continues to march to the east, and behind it, we're tracking cooler weather. A northwest wind is going to help create lake effect cloud cover, which will settle in as we head into tomorrow. So the clouds look to stick around tonight. May see a few breaks here and there, but it's generally overcast through tomorrow morning. A gloomy start to Thursday. The lake effect clouds are going to linger around. I do expect to see some breaks of sunshine late in the day. Skies do clear out after sunset. Overnight lows tomorrow night drop into the 30s. Friday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures climbing to the mid-50s with windy conditions developing. Hurricane Raphael, now a Category 2 storm. The track from the National Hurricane Center has turned this storm to the west. And those steering currents are very weak. So uh, there's a lot of uncertainty as to where this goes. But it's very likely to stay in the Gulf of Mexico, at least over the next five days. Cloudy, a brief shower tonight, low 50 tomorrow. A uh, cooler day, clouds give way to some breaks of sunshine, 56 for the high. Storm Tracker 2, 7-day forecast, windy Friday, 55. Sunshine Saturday, cooler 49. Uh, rain showers return Sunday, 55. Showers Monday, temperatures in the 50s, Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be right back. Time for a first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. A cold front came through earlier today, and we're seeing the after effects of it. Uh, cloudy skies, bit of a breeze. It's been a pretty mild day, but it's been a lot gloomier compared to yesterday. This cold front's going to continue to move to the east. In its wake, clouds are going to linger around. We're expecting cooler weather as we head into the next couple of days. 59 degrees is the current temperature. Mostly cloudy skies at Griffiths and Rome, and it will continue to cool off as we head into tonight. The clouds look to linger around. It stays dry, breezy, and seasonably chilly over the next couple of days. Uh, widespread rain looks to return late Sunday. This evening, mostly cloudy. Temperatures in the 50s. We're tracking some windier weather ahead. We've got a look at the forecast coming up. Back over to you. Thank you, Bill. Continuing coverage. Of the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Changes in our weather today. We had a cold front roll through this morning, and it's cooling off. The clouds kind of lingering around. Temperature in downtown Utica of 60 degrees. We are tracking a couple of sprinkles that are lingering in our area this evening. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. A uh, few spotty showers are possible this evening and tonight, but this is what we're going to be getting. Just very uh, brief sprinkles here and there. Uh, as we head into tonight and tomorrow, an area of high pressure will be building in, and that will bring in a little bit more sunshine, especially late in the day. We had a nice sunrise this morning. This picture taken by Fritz in Verona. We also had a nice sunset. Same day. This one from Taberg. Pretty nice to see that. Uh, and that has to do with the changing weather, with the cold front moving in and now departing, uh, creating some of those high clouds and colorful uh, skies. Breezy conditions tomorrow. The winds pick up on Friday. It looks to be a windy day. The winds become later Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures from our sky watchers this evening. Whitesboro, Kirsten with 62. Uh, Helen and Cassville also 62 degrees. Curtis, 59. Ilian, 63. Uh, Stuart and Cooperstown with 64. Cold front continues to move to the east. In its wake, the weather dries out. With cooler weather working in, we have that northwest wind that's creating lake effect cloud cover. So the, the clouds are going to linger around 
as we head into tonight and early tomorrow. We'll call it mostly cloudy tonight. We do get a few occasional breaks in the overcast. Temperatures will be near 50 degrees. A gloomy start to the day tomorrow, but I think we'll get a few breaks of sunshine late in the day. Temperatures climb into the low 50s. Skies do clear out tomorrow night. Temperatures are expected to fall into the 30s. Friday uh, starts out with some breaks of sunshine, and then clouds will roll in as the next cold front drops in from the north. This one's weaker, uh, but it does bring in some cooler weather as we head into Saturday. Hurricane Raphael sustained winds 105 miles an hour. This storm is heading to the east, and it's expected to weaken and stall in the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the weekend. Tonight, cloudy, a brief shower, low 50. Tomorrow, cloudy with some late breaks of sunshine, 56 for the high. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. It's windy on Friday, 55, mostly cloudy. Sunshine, cooler Saturday, 49 degrees. A hard frost Saturday night as we fall into the 20s. On Sunday, we start out dry. We'll see some rain late in the day. Showers Monday, returning to sunshine. Temperatures in the low 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. Pretty normal in yeah. this seven day. Temperatures usually in the low 50s this time of the year. Bill, thank you. Still to come on News Channel 2 at 6, more details. First look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Some great social media pictures always sent in to us. And this is definitely awesome. Look at that. Beautiful sunrise this morning by uh, Fritz in Verona. We also had a lovely sunset. The odds of getting both are very rare. It's Especially this time of year, right? Yeah, the fact that even seeing the sun <laughs> <laughs> seems to be a rarity these days. We will not see it very much tonight. Of course, it's dark. But also tomorrow, because it's going to be cloudy, uh, we'll get a chance to see the sunshine, a uh, better chance as we head into Friday. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar, looking at dry conditions across the area. We've been seeing a few sprinkles here and there, uh, but the weather is generally drying out. Current temperature 49 degrees, mostly cloudy. Winds are calm. We do have some cold air working in from the northwest. Overnight lows, well, they don't fall too much further, down to 47. Cloudy skies. We expect to see a chilly day tomorrow. The winds are going to be kicking up over the next couple of days. I've got to look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Vice President Kamala Harris. Watching WKTV Plus, your new choice for news and weather, plus a whole lot more. Watch WKTV Plus over the air on WKTV 2.3 and on Spectrum Channel 1246. Operation Greenlight is underway in Utica as we approach Veterans Day on Monday. The United County Office Building, Adirondack Bank, and other landmarks are lit green. Operation Greenlight started back in 2021 by shining a green light. County government lets veterans know they are seen, appreciated, and supported. Feed Our Vets does more than just feed those who served. They honor them. And today, the Downtown Utica organization did that by dedicating new banners commemorating the service of local military members. The family of a local Vietnam veteran was also on hand to accept a medal earned but never received. All of this as Feed Our Vets gears up for Thanksgiving, making sure no veterans table is bare. Oh, I mean, we have Thanksgiving, so we're getting, we had a... The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're taking a live look in downtown Utica. Temperature of 54 degrees. It's continuing to cool off in the wake of a cold front. Uh, the weather looking pretty quiet out there. We've been seeing a few very light sprinkles throughout the course of this evening. Uh, but that weather system that caused this drop in temperature is now moving to the east, and we will see pretty quiet weather here going forward. Did you know that by now we typically have seen the first snowfall in an average season? Uh, we usually get it in late October to early November. To get into the second week of November without seeing snow is very uncommon. Uh, in fact, by today's date, we average one inch of snow. I know it's hard to think about because it's been so warm, but we are already running behind. Of course, it's a very long season and it won't take much to catch up. As we look at the wind, it is going to be windy. Uh, in fact, it's looking windy on Friday, breezy tomorrow, winds generally from the northwest. Uh, strongest on Friday afternoon between about 15 to 25 miles an hour. The winds will become lighter 
as we head into the weekend. Cold front moving to the east. We've got this window of clearing skies for now, but the lake clouds are moving in. And uh, that is what we'll be dealing with as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Overcast skies expected tonight. Temperatures bottoming out in the upper 40s. Clouds early tomorrow will very slowly give way to breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Not expecting a lot here in terms of sun, but maybe later in the day. And if we get some luck, it, it might clear out, clear out a little bit before sunset. Skies do clear out tomorrow night. And that's going to set the stage for a chilly night, overnight lows in the 30s. Friday, mostly cloudy. A, another cold front drops in from the north. This is a weaker one, but it does produce some wind. Expecting windy conditions Friday afternoon and evening. Uh, skies look to clear out again, just in time for Saturday. Hurricane Raphael, uh, Category 2 storm, 105 mile an hour winds. This is heading into the Gulf of Mexico. but. It's expected to run into uh, some wind shear, which will help disrupt the circulation of the storm. And the steering currents just kind of leave the storm in the Gulf of Mexico into the weekend. So a lot of uncertainty as to where it goes uh, beyond that. Cloudy, a brief sprinkle tonight, 47. Tomorrow, clouds give way to a couple of breaks of sunshine late, later in the day. High 56, storm checker 2, seven day forecast. Windy Friday, 55, sunshine on Saturday. Rain returns late Sunday into Monday. Temperatures in the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, so looking at that seven day, is that where we are supposed to be this time of year now? Average weather. I don't like average. I like above average. Could be worse. It could be. Yeah. We've seen it. All right, thanks, Bill. Coming up in the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis, we're all about the social media pictures. This from this morning, but you've got another one too. This great sunrise. Great sunset. Yeah, this is the sunrise from Verona, uh, taken by Fritz. If that wasn't nice enough, we had a nice sunset. To get them back to back is is extremely uncommon, especially it's, this time of year. Yeah, the fact that we just don't see much of the sun. Mm. Uh, but this had everything to do with a cold front that moved in in the morning, and then as it departed, it caught the sun at just the right angle. So we got lucky this time around. Uh, we won't see very much of the sun here as we head into tomorrow morning. I don't think we'll have quite a nice sunrise uh, as we did this morning. Live look at the Urco battery, Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. It's dry. We had a cold front swing through today, and temperatures have been cooling off since then. 49 degrees is the current temperature at Griffiths and Rome. And tonight, overnight lows will drop into the upper 40s. Clouds linger around. The winds are going to be picking up as cooler weather returns. I've got to look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Vice President Kamala Harris. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're taking a live look in downtown Utica. Temperatures continue to cool off as a cold front swings through. Well, it did earlier today. We're sitting at 52 degrees. Still seeing some clouds out there along with a few breaks in the overcast. The rain that we saw earlier today has moved to the east. And behind it, uh, it is looking dry and breezy. And the weather's going to cool off as we move forward. Did you know that at this point in November, we usually have our first snowfall by now? This is for the lower elevations, the Mohawk Valley the Utica Rome region. We haven't had it yet, uh, so we are running behind. I know it's something we don't think about uh, because it's been so warm, but by now, there's usually the first flakes of snow. They've already fallen, or they're at least in the forecast, but that's not the case this year. Uh, it looks warm as we look ahead, no chance of snow. Breezy conditions as we head into Thursday, windy on Friday. The winds will be strongest Friday. They become later as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Friday, by the way, from the northwest, 15 to 25 miles an hour. So uh, again, enough to uh, move things around, blow the leaves around, maybe take out some small uh, limbs and some debris in the road, but it's not going to be enough to cause any damage. So you look at the bigger picture. We are tracking a cold front moving to the east, and the weather behind it looks pretty quiet. As colder air moves over the warmer lakes, we do expect to see some lake effect cloud cover uh, from that. And that arrives tonight. Overnight lows drop down into the upper 40s. It's a cloudy start to Thursday. I think we'll see some sunshine late in the day. 
I think most of the day is cloudy. We do clear out, and it looks like it's going to be right around sunset. Temperatures will drop into the 40s and 30s tomorrow night. Friday, mostly cloudy. Another cold front arrives, this time from the north. It's a weaker one, which means not a lot of precipitation, but it does generate wind from the northwest, and it does look colder as we get into Saturday. Hurricane Raphael, current winds 105 miles an hour, makes it a Category 2 storm. This looks like it's going to be a fish storm, uh, staying in the Gulf of Mexico here for the next five days, weakening into a tropical storm by the weekend. Tonight, cloudy, a brief shower, 47 for the overnight low. Cloudy tomorrow, some breaks of sunshine late, 56. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. Windy Friday, colder Saturday. We should see more sunshine to start the weekend, a high of 49. A hard frost Saturday night. Rain returns late Sunday, hanging around for Veterans Day Monday. Temperatures in the upper 50s. And this is where we're supposed to be this time of year, not 70 degrees. Back to average. All right, we'll take it. Thank you, Bill. Coming up next.